TJ Hooker will be back on the beat at 9.15 next Saturday. Coming Tuesday at 7.30, TV's unlikeliest agents, the Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Hand it to the man in the red hat. I understand you managed to misplace a package containing highly sensitive information. I didn't misplace it. Whoever she is, if she still has the package, she's in a very tight spot. So you're a spy? It's right hand on the stick, left hand down on the throttle. Why? We're flying! Bruce Boxleitner and Kate Jackson are the Scarecrow and Mrs. King in the first of an exciting new series starting Tuesday at 7.30 on ITV. British Airways Super Club Class Seat. The widest seat in the air. But being the widest seat in the air, it isn't the easiest to fit through the door. Now on all our long haul flights, the world's widest airline seat. From the airline that cares about everyone that flies. Super Club, from the world's favorite airline. Well, it ain't exactly Wembley. There's only ten blokes on the card. But when you get chopped on the run, you go down just as hard. And looking at them play out there, well, there ain't none worth a million quid. But I reckon it was priceless, that nod put in by Sid. There's another sight for admiring that makes the spirit fly. Just lift the finger, say the word, and raise the elbow high. Oh, I'm a scholar and he's a scholar, we're scholars through and through. When you know your trick, you know your groove, you can be a scholar too. Motorists, here is an important announcement from QuickFit. Last year, we helped over two million customers. They bought over a million tires like Michelin, Dunlop and Pirelli and two million quality exhaust parts. They took advantage of superb guarantees, unbeatable service and low, low prices. And now QuickFit announced the great price breakthrough that ends any confusion about who's cheapest. Now, I guarantee we'll give you the lowest tire and exhaust price in your town. With QuickFit's new price promise, we won't just match our competitors' price, we'll beat it. So next time you need tires or an exhaust, you know there's only one place to go. See you soon at QuickFit. My investigations into chronomargarine are taking me the length and breadth of Britain, and I'm fascinated how attitudes and preferences can change so dramatically from place to place. Some people I discover prefer a lighter taste, and there's a different sort of chrono, especially for them. Chrono silver, it seems, appeals to people all over the country who like a lighter taste, because it's lightly salted and positively mild. Chrono. Entertainment, music, top comedy, big series, drama, excitement.
on ITV and Channel 4 for the week ahead. There's so much more than TV times in this week's TV times. A brush with the office Romeo for Marjorie this Friday night. Thank you. <laughs> oh, call me Andy. That's my name. Andy by name and nature. From now on, you can move around with all the papering or get a man in. I might have to do that because you can't seem to manage it. Oh, can't I? But every painter has his price. Come on in. Give us a kiss. All right, then. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Marjorie and Matt, this Friday at 8.30 on ITV. Now on TVS, Roy Hudd illuminates the movie memories of Peter Jones. Thank you very much indeed, folks. Hello and welcome to Movie Memories. Yes, your movie memories, because that's what the show is all about. Your requests, queries, and happy memories of the days when a one and nine didn't mean a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> so for starters, here's a letter from George Green of Halstead, who says, I'm a very keen fan of yodeling, and I wonder how many of your viewers remember a toothy girl called Judy Canova. She was a great singer and yodeler. Well, she certainly was, George. And she made a career out of playing the dumb country girl. I remember in one of her radio shows, a man said to her, one of my ancestors was a knight of the Royal Order of the Bath. Do you know the Order of the Bath? She said, certainly on Saturday nights, it's always pa first, and then us kids in honor of our ages. <laughs> well, with gags like that, she had to be a great singer and yodeler, didn't she? <laughs> well, we've got some cartoons for you today. Now, not the usual ones you see on the telly, but some really rare early ones. Now, in the early days, cartoons often told the same stories as the films with live actors. Unlike today, when we get live actors...